Hello, I'm Helen Fu, the host of this TV show, Health Factor with Helen Fu. I'm also a certified nutritionist, Chinese herbalist, and a specialist in diet, nutrition, weight loss, diabetes, and cancer. Traditional Chinese medicine, which is also called TCM, has 5,000 year history. There are different methods of treatment. Acupuncture probably is the most well known in this country. Today, I'm very excited to have a guest, Joy, to be the guest on my show. Joy, welcome. Hi. Okay, so Joy, tell us a little bit more about your background and what do you do? Okay, um, I went to school in China. Um, I got five years of intensive training uh, in Western medicine and the traditional medicine. Um, then I was working in the hospital, uh, also taught at uh, school at the college uh, for about 10 years before I came to the United States. Um, in the early 90s, uh, I came here. Um, so I got certified in uh, Chinese herbal medicine and uh, acupuncture. Um, I was also licensed in acupuncture at Massachusetts and uh, New Hampshire. Great, that's a pretty extensive background. So tell us a little bit more about the trainings. What does it require to become a licensed acupuncturist? Um, in here in the United States or? In, in both the United States and China. Uh -huh. So uh, in China, uh, we went to medical school or a traditional uh, Chinese medicine school. Uh, it usually is five years training. Uh, we study both Chinese medicine and the Western medicine. We go through um, the everything medical school students go through, plus we get trained in traditional Chinese medicine. Um, in here in the United States, um, there are many uh, acupuncture schools uh, as well. Uh, most schools uh, require uh, students to have a bachelor degree before you go to acupuncture school. Um, so uh, the school, uh, different school runs differently. Uh, most of the schools uh, have uh, three to four years training mm -hmm. for a master degree. Okay. Um, then you pass a national exam. Um, then you apply for your license uh, at a state where you wanted to practice. Is it very hard to get your license? Mm, you have to study hard. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's the same thing anywhere, whether in China or in the United States. Yes, that's you right. You have to study and put in a lot of hours. Yes. And so I'm just curious, uh, when you study acupuncture, do you study mostly through the books or you have to study through actual doing acupuncture on people? Um, of course, um, you study from books, but a lot of it you have to practice, uh, especially acupuncture. It needs a lot of uh, hands-on practice. Mm -hmm. um, so in school, as a student, you practice on yourself first. So you needle yourself. Um, you practice on paper, uh, you know, on, you know uh, some other materials, uh, practice needling, and then you practice on yourself. You practice on your fellow students. Uh, then you start to practice uh, in student clinic uh, on patients. I guess it gives you incentives to really learn it and master it if you have to practice on yourself. Oh, uh, yes. Right? <laughs> so you don't want to keep on doing the wrong thing on yourself. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Yeah, so um, how many acupressure points are there in the body? I understand there are a lot of them. There are a lot of them. So um, there are 14 main points. Uh, main channels, uh, which we also call it meridians. Mm -hmm. Each meridian has, um, you know, a certain number of points. So at least it's uh, there are 500 points, but there are new points being developed all the time. Mm -hmm. um, we call those ash points or new points. Um, and the, in the recent decades, uh, we also developed the ear points. Uh, we call that uh, auricular acupuncture, mm -hmm. the ear acupuncture. So there are many points on the ear too. So the it could be like thousands yes. of points. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm just fascinated by the ear puncture and I tried it in, in China actually. Uh -huh. I studied acupuncture in China as well, but it's not part of my practice. Uh -huh. I can put needles in myself and uh, my kids and, you know, uh -huh. but um, I, I don't, you know, I'd rather prefer to refer my clients to acupuncturists like you. So I just wonder whether you'll be able to do some demonstrations today. 
I'm sure. volunteering to, to show the audience how acupuncture work. And first of all, tell us, does it hurt to put needles uh, in the body? I'll say no, um, but also depends on the area. Um, if we need a sensitive area, like uh, towards your fingers, your toes, those area has more nerve endings, so you may feel a little bit of uh, sensation. Um, the sensation from Chinese, uh, from the acupuncture is not pain. It's the qi sensation. Mm -hmm. um, it's the energy. So many people will feel some sensation. It's not necessarily pain. They can feel heaviness. They can feel warmth. They can feel, you know, tingling, numbness around the needles. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the sensation will travel around the channels. Um, so these are not pain. Um, if you do feel some sensation, it will be quick. Um, when the needle goes through the skin, you may feel a little pinch, then it goes away. All right, because I understand some of the audience probably may never ever had a chance or the courage to try the needles. And tell us a little bit more about how acupuncture actually works and what's the whole theory behind acupuncture treatment. Yeah, acupuncture is an uh, ancient therapy. It was uh, originated from traditional Chinese uh, philosophy uh, where yeah, the disease is a con uh, considered occur uh, when the, as a consequence of the, uh, the qi, I mean, in and the yang imbalance, if the imbalance occur, the disease will occur. Mm -hmm. So we use acupuncture to insert the needles um, into specific points on specific channels to restore the balance, uh, restore the yin and the yang harmony to your body. Um, the, the channels, uh, also called the meridians, are the pathway between the surface of the body to the internal organs. Uh, it also carries uh, the energy into different parts of your body. Mm -hmm. So if there is a blockage uh, in the channel, um, it, you know, the, it will break the balance, harmony of the body. Mm -hmm. So using acupuncture to open up the channels to remove the stagnation will restore the harmony into your body. Okay, so I just want the audience to imagine this. If you have a water hose and you have some pebbles or whatever sand in the water hose that kind of you know, started some blockage, then that's going to kind of reduce the flow of the water. And it's the same thing uh, for our energy uh, in our body. So when there is blockage, caused by inflammation or um, could be toxins, whatever yeah, that is. Yeah, or blastasis. So, yeah. so basically, acupuncture is supposed to go there and get rid of the blockage so the energy can flow freely. Okay, so uh, I understand you have a chart. You want to show us the chart and tell us a little bit about what the chart is um, about? This is a chart shows some of the meridians on, on back of the body. Um, so there are different lines, um, the yellow line, the red line. Um, so each organ has a pair of uh, meridian. Um, they are symmetrical on both sides of the body. Um, this is uh, the, the chart shows uh, the bladder channel. It goes down uh, from your head all the way to your toe. Um, so each organ has a, a, a pair of channels connects the, the surface to the internal organs. Um, that's just part of the, uh, the meridian chart. Uh, we have total 14 main meridians. Um, the meridians are like rivers. There are main rivers and there are small branches. Mm -hmm. The branches are connecting to other meridian, like other rivers. Um, mm -hmm. They all interconnect like a big circle, so the energy can flow all over your body. Um, anywhere has a blockage, it can cause the problem. All right, so I'm excited and I would like to, to try sure. the ear needles and I will let the audience know how it feels like. That's good, so I'm going to do a couple of needles on your ear. Okay. I'm gonna probably put ear. one on right. the top of your head. Okay, and explain so, to us uh, why do you put the one on top of my head and why do you put the, the needles in my ears and what the, do they do? The ear points are for relaxation. Um, one of the points is called Shen Men. 
Um, that means the gait of the spirit it, uh, helps to reduce the stress and the anxiety. Oh, it good. also A helps. Lot of people need that. It helps <laughs> with the sleep too. And the, the point on the top of your head, it's a good point to uh, help with the concentration mm -hmm. and to help the mental clarity. All so right. It will help you to improve your memory. I need that. <laughs> So the needles are coming in a um, single package. They are pre-sterilized. Um, they are single use, okay. it's possible. So we use alcohol to clean the skin first. And uh, here you go, the needle. It comes with a little tube too. So what I'll do is I'll point the needle on, the, on her ear, and then just tap, and the needle goes in. Did that hurt? No, it doesn't hurt at all. So here comes the second point, and it's in. There. So the, I didn't even feel anything. So ear has very little tissue. It's just skin and the cartilage. So the needle doesn't go in very deep. You okay. just tap it in. Okay. Um, but different parts of the body, we do different de depths. So All right. the same thing on the scalp. Um, you can't go in deep. So what I'll do is, um, you want to show the needle to the audience what it looks like? Sure. So this is a common size with needle. It's about one inch long. Uh, it's very flexible. So we just take one needle. So what I'll do with this point is I do oblique insertion. So it goes in like this with an angle. Um, we cannot go deep this way, but we can go far towards the back of her head. I start okay. to feel a little bit now. Um, what do you feel? I feel a little bit numbness and tingly. Okay, so uh, after the insertion, we usually do a little bit of stimulation, like twist the needles a little bit. Yeah, I can feel a little to bit. To gather the chi, gather the sensation. Uh -huh. So that's when you will feel the chi sensation. Yes. Okay. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel I relaxed. Feel yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, sounds great. And uh, you also, we have another volunteer. Okay, who so is very excited to get on the show, and uh, I love yeah, to give yeah, her yeah, some so uh, treatment too. You can do some treatment on her, sure. and her name is Anya. Anya, come on the show. Hi, Anya. Hi. 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 Thank you for inviting me. Yes. While well, Anya is trying to get ready, put the mic on. So you want to show us the different needles here? Sure. So the needle I showed you are the common size. It was a one inch needle. Um, the one I used for Helen's ear, they are very small. Um, it was like half inch long. Um, I have longer one. This is um, inch and a half. Um, this is two inch needles. That is called a horse needles, right? Uh, no, horse <laughs> needles could be longer. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, those so long needles, like, uh, do you have special points that where you put the long ones, which ones put, uh, where you put the short ones? Yeah, it depends on the location of the points. Okay. So the long needles are for um, deep muscle area, like uh, your leg, um, somebody's lower back. Okay. Um, it also depends on the, uh, the person. If you use uh, acupuncture on a child, you use a very small needle. If you use uh, acupuncture, you need a big person, so you need, okay. you need to, uh, have the needle reach certain depths in order to have this okay. to work. So for yeah. somebody who is uh, probably uh, like a, a little overweight, then they might need a longer needles yeah. than somebody who has regular weight. Yeah. Okay, uh, I understand. So okay. the same thing like in your ear, you know, you can't go in deep, so you use very small needles. Okay. Uh, so for, for her, um, I'm going to needle her hand. Are you so ready, we can do Yes, I am. <laughs> We can insert the needles a little bit deeper on her. So same thing, it's a one inch needle. We tap needle in, then I'll push the needle a little bit deeper. 
So you got some sensation, right? I saw your yeah. finger moving. So that's about half an inch in. But the interesting yeah. thing is that I really didn't feel the needle going in. Yeah. But I do feel some type of sensation going on there. And it's so a very nice feeling. Does it hurt? No. Are you scared, Anya? No, I had acupuncture done before, uh, seven or eight years ago, and it has been a very good experience. Um, so I definitely am going to go for acupuncture again. It's just sometimes hard to find time when you have two kids. <laughs> uh, but it was a very good experience for me, and I uh, really enjoyed it. I really felt that you know it helped me. That's so, great. Joy, uh, now mm -hmm. you put one needle in each hand and explain to us what acupressure point and what does it do there? Uh, this is called a hook wu. It's a large intestine four. So this is a uh, large intestine channel, mm -hmm. the number four point on uh, large intestine channel. The channel goes up to your arm, mm -hmm. all the way go along your neck, mm -hmm. go to your face. Okay. So this point can treat local problem, mm -hmm. um, like your hand, your mm -hmm. elbow, mm -hmm. any pain on your arm, mm -hmm. and as well as some facial problem. Um, Plus, this point is a um, large intestine channel, so mm -hmm. it treats large intestine mm -hmm. problem, like digestive problem. Okay. okay, if you have any digestive issue, mm -hmm. this can treat. Um, this is most used point mm -hmm. um, in acupuncture. Okay. Um, it's widely used. So it's uh, also very good for immune system. It's it also assume, very right? good for moving chi, yeah. you know, release uh, stress. Um, it's good for immune system too, yeah. uh, for different type of pain, mm -hmm. not just local pain. Mm -hmm. um, like I said before, the channels are all interconnected. So yeah. needle, large mm -hmm. intestine channel, mm -hmm. it can also help with other channels mm -hmm. um, because they are related. Uh, so this is very mm -hmm. common used. Mm -hmm. It can use for a common cold too. Okay. Yeah. So let's say uh, winter is coming and you feel a little bit tired mm -hmm. and you want to have acupuncture done. How many sessions would you have to get and how many needles you would have to have put in in each session? Well, if you, you mm -hmm. are a very healthy person mm -hmm. and just for coming for a little boost mm -hmm. of the immune system, um, you can do this like uh, every other month or once um, mm -hmm. once every quarter, like okay. uh, when the season change, you can get a treatment uh, booster mm -hmm. your immune system. Mm -hmm. um, as of how many needles, uh, it depends. Okay. You know, it depends on you know, your individual situation. It can be about 10 needles, 20 okay. needles. It's common, you know, for most people, they receive about 20 needles right. uh, plus minus. Yeah. Well, great. Thank you so much. You are brave, Anya, Thank to get you. on our show <laughs> and have the needles put into you. So I so understand that, yeah. Let me take You're her needles take out. The, the yeah. needles. Okay, let's do that. You also have a lot of uh, different other treatments in your center other than acupuncture, right? Yes, I also do Chinese herbal medicine, so uh, treat different conditions, use herbs. Um, uh, the traditional Chinese medicine, like you said, it's not just acupuncture, um, it's the herbs um, and the other treatment modalities. Um, so in acupuncture, we do um, insert needles to almost every patient. Um, we also do, thank you, Anya. Thank you, thank you so much, <laughs> Anya. Thank You're you very welcome. much. Uh, we also do cupping and uh, gua sha, uh, maksa. Um, this is a cup. Uh, we use suction cup mm -hmm. uh, to cupping on different points to release the stagnation too. Um, we also have this uh, so-called maksa. Mm -hmm. It's a maksa roll. Uh, we let up the maksa. This is made from herb. Mm -hmm. So we're warming up the points to treat certain problems. Uh, so it depends on individual's uh, needs. So we do different type of treatment. Um, so uh, in modern acupuncture, we also do electrical uh, mm -hmm. stimulation, uh -huh. where you uh, connect an electrical machine uh, with the needles mm -hmm. uh, to give more um, sensation. It's a stronger type of treatment. So people will feel the chi all the time because the machine sends out the vibration. 
Great. Uh, you also brought some photos and the slides. I wonder whether you can tell us a little bit about the, the photos and the slides, if we can have them on the sure. screen so Joy can tell us about the photos. Okay, this is one of my treatments, uh, treatment rooms. Um, the, the lamp uh, standing on the floor is a heating lamp. Um, during the treatment, I'll use the lamp to, uh, to um, treat different problem too. Uh, okay. It's a, a therapeutic heat, lamp, uh, yeah. Bring some heat to uh, injured area or a painful area. Okay. Um, if you don't have pain, um, I will use the lamp for your feet, try to help you to relax during the treatment. Um, so uh, you should feel very relaxed after okay. each treatment. Great. That's uh, another angle of treatment, uh, treatment table. Um, this is the herbs. Um, they come in in the powder form uh, in the individual bottle. I'll make the formula which will be uh, designed specifically for uh, for each patient uh, who's taking them. Uh, it's a formula with uh, 10 to 15 herbs. I'll mix, mix them together, then okay. you go home and drink as you drink tea. Okay, mm. great. So this slide talks about uh, TCM, traditional Chinese medicine. Yeah, traditional Chinese medicine, you know, acupuncture is part of it. Uh, we yes. do Chinese herbal medicine. Mm -hmm. uh, we do uh, uh, Chinese type of Tuina um, massage, it's called Tuina yes. uh, or acupressure. Uh, we do dietary therapy, which you are very uh, familiar with that, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, we also do uh, mind and body exercise, like Qigong, Tai Chi. These are all um, part of, you know, traditional Chinese medicine. That's true. Yeah. And it, there are some different types of needles? Yeah, there are different types of needles. Um, there is some different shape of needles. Um, the 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 one on the bottom left is called seven star needles. It looks like a little hammer. Um, on the hammer head, where it has seven needles. We also call this uh, plum blossom needles. It's like a plum. Mm -hmm. So you tap on different points. This is the ear acupuncture points. I have yeah. two needles now in my ear. So tell us a little bit about uh, this ear acupuncture, uh, so acupuncture points. So imagine the ear like an upside down uh, baby in the womb. Um, the the earlobe area is the head. Um, the baby is crawling, you know, um, like a fetal position. Uh -huh. uh, so the, the outer side of the ear is more the skeleton area, your spinal area. Mm -hmm. uh, so the internal organs are uh, uh, right around the ear, opening of the ear canal. Okay. Uh, so, so if you have problem with your eye, um, we choose the point on the earlobe where it represents eye. Okay. Um, then you needle that point, it will help the ear problem, uh, eye problem. So if you have a uh, um, liver problem, then we choose the liver point, uh, which is near the ear canal, uh, okay. to treat the ear problem. Yeah. Okay. That's amazing. And so what acupuncture really can treat? I understand um, it can treat a lot of different symptoms and health issues. Could you explain yeah. a little bit more about it? Sure. Um, first of all, we can use acupuncture to improve uh, general health. Um, you don't have to have problem to come to acupuncture. People uh -huh. using acupuncture as a patent preventive method, you know, for prevention. Mm -hmm. um, like just uh, Anya said, you know, if I just want to uh, preventing uh, winter cold, what do I do? You know, people coming just uh, once a while for for. Uh, boost treatment to their immune system. Okay. Um, but then when you have a problem, uh, you can get treated by acupuncture. And there are many, many uh, problems acupuncture can help. So starting, say, neurological problem, um, mm -hmm. if somebody have neuropathy, um, different type of nerve pain, sciatica, you know, headache, um, uh, like a facial uh, Bell's palsy, facial mm -hmm. paralysis, um, this all can be helped with acupuncture. Uh, we can help people with a digestive problem, like nausea, vomiting. Um, it can be from morning sickness. Uh, it can be from um, different reasons, you know, indigestion. Uh, people coming for IBS, uh, constipation, 
acid reflux. You see a lot uh, of those probably. Yeah, I see <laughs> a lot of those. And the musculoskeletal problem too, when you have an injury, you have swelling, you have pain, uh, acupuncture can help with the healing of uh, injuries. Um, yeah, even you have a broken bone, you know, we can help with the healing process. Okay. Um, so as a type, I see a lot of people with low back pain, neck pain, you know, um, uh, like uh, uh, different type of injury in the arm, in the wrist, uh, legs too, uh, tendonitis, uh, bursitis, um, and uh, all kinds of different problems. And as well as uh, gynecological uh, gyne uh, problem with uh, irregular period, okay. uh, painful period, people having infertility, um, you know, or uh, like a menopause syndromes too. Mm -hmm. um, so they are being used very widely. Yeah, I can't uh, go over yeah, everything. Go over yeah. everything. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. how about cancer? Because I work with a lot of cancer patients, and uh, a lot of times I use Chinese herbs with them. I mm -hmm. also recommend them to use uh, Chinese acupuncture. I refer them to. Yeah. To um, many cancer patients with pain, you know, whether mm -hmm. you're beginning stage or late stage, acupuncture is a great tool to relieve the pain. Um, uh, also, when people going through chemotherapy, radiation, um, when they have many different type of uh, side effects from those, uh, like I said, uh, nausea, vomiting, mm -hmm. um, you know, lower blood count, fatigue, uh, neuropathy, um, those are also very uh, helpful to use acupuncture. Um, in fact, I'm working at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute for many years now. Um, we treat, uh, we helped many, many cancer patients. I see many cancer patients at my private uh, practice too. Okay, great. Yeah. So even though they are doing the traditional methods with chemo, radiation, or surgeries, yeah. they can still use acupuncture to yeah, help them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The if they come, you know, if they come to us uh, early enough, we will suggest them to start a treatment before you go through the chemotherapy or radiation to just get your body stronger to deal with the treatments later on. Um, so um, we also can help many people going through emotional uh, stressful situation uh, to help reduce the anxiety. Uh, depression, you know, um, insomnia too. We see yeah. a lot of those. Yeah. yeah, in my practice, yeah. a lot of clients have those uh, health issues as well. So, if people <coughs> want to get help from you, or uh, they want to do a consultation or do treatments with you, how do they get in touch with you? Um, they can find me on the website. I have a, a full page website. I have email. You can email me. Uh, you can call me. Um, it, I'm there every week. Okay, yeah. great. So they can go to your website and it's called the China Acupuncture Health Center. Thank you so much and we are so excited that uh, Joy uh, come as a guest to tell us all about acupuncture today. So stay healthy until next time. Mm -hmm.